Good morning, Good Samaritan Society, Lake Forest Village. Chaplain Philip Johnson here with our Thursday morning video devotion. Our gospel reading today is from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 29 through 39. As soon as they left the synagogue, they went with James and John to the home of Simon and Andrew. Simon's mother-in-law was in bed with a fever, and they immediately told Jesus about her. So he went to her, took her hand, and helped her up. The fever left her, and she began to wait on them. That evening, after sunset, the people brought to Jesus all the sick and demon-possessed. The whole town gathered at the door, and Jesus healed many who had various diseases. He also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. Simon and his companions went to look for him, and when they found him, they exclaimed, Everyone is looking for you. Jesus replied, Let us go somewhere else, to the nearby villages, so I can preach there also. That is why I have come. So we traveled throughout Galilee, preaching in their synagogues and driving out demons. A couple of thoughts on our passage this morning. It's interesting that our passage begins with Jesus healing Simon's mother-in-law. And it says uh, she was in bed with a fever. Now to us, this may not be that big of a deal. People get fevers all the time. The body deals with it and recovers. But we also have the advantages of modern medicine. Uh, the fever that Simon's mother-in-law may have been dealing with uh, could have been very serious uh, because resources and, and medical interventions were limited at the time. So Jesus heals her, and I think word has gotten out about his um, miracles, his ability to heal the sick. And so um, the whole town gathers at the door. And Jesus healed many who had various diseases. Um, he also drove out many demons, but he would not let the demons speak because they knew who he was. Also, very interesting, he doesn't let the demons speak, the demons that he's just driven out of people, the demons that he has exercised from people. He won't let them speak because they knew who he was. Now this comes up um, in scripture a number of times. Uh, it's often referred to as the messianic secret. Uh, sometimes Jesus tells people that he's healed, uh, go and tell everyone what the Lord has done for you. And then other times he says, uh, don't tell anyone um, about what I did for you. Um, now, it's, it's, there's different opinions, different insights, uh, different positions, different schools of thought as to why this is the case. Um, the most compelling one I've encountered is that there's a particular geographical component um, that when he's in Gentile area, he encourages people to share. But when he's in Jewish area, um, he encourages people not to share about what he's done. Now, that, that seems a little bit backwards because Jesus is Jewish and he's devout in the uh, Jewish religion, so to speak. He practices um, the Jewish faith even though obviously he revolutionizes their understanding of God. Um, but what's also um, interesting is that um, the more that, this is pretty early in Mark, the more miracles he does, sometimes the harder time he has um, sharing his message. People tend to want to only relate to him as a miracle worker because they have a problem that they believe he can solve for them, and so that's why they come to him. Uh, when in reality, um, he is there for a different reason. Uh, verse 35, it says, Very early in the morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left the house, and went off to a solitary place where he prayed. So he leaves this place where crowds of people are coming to see him, goes off and prays, which I think is a reminder to us of how important it can be to retreat and connect with God via scripture and prayer. But also, this is fascinating, the disciples are looking for him and they find him and they say, everyone is looking for you, presumably because they want him to continue to work miracles and heal their uh, ailments and illnesses and demon possessions. 
And Jesus says, let's go somewhere else. Um, let's go to the nearby villages so I can preach there because that's why I have come. And so that's what they do. But think about that. Things are going really well. Jesus' stock is super high. People love this guy. They're coming to him in droves. And he says, let's go somewhere else. I mean, it's, it's real easy to leave when people don't like you. Um, that's what they would prefer you do anyway. But to leave when you are loved and admired and embraced, that is something completely different. And I think what's required is such a clarity that Jesus knew what his mission was and he knew what his priority was. His priority was to share the good news of the coming of the kingdom. So what's your, what's your mission? What's your priority? Let me pray for us. Dear God, I thank you for the work that you do in our communities. I thank you for your clarity and your determination that you showed to us in your ministry. Help us to be clear as to what you would have us to do and how to do it. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Have a good day.